Hello, everyone. I'm Lana Zak. Thanks so much for joining us here on CBS News. Let's take a look at the top stories we're following right now. Protesters rally nationwide trying to save Roe versus Wade. We take you to one of the largest demonstrations as the Supreme Court appears likely to overturn the landmark ruling. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell leads a Republican delegation to Kyiv, meeting with President Vladimir Zelensky. And on the battlefield, Russian troops are withdrawing from a key city after weeks of attacks. And residents in a Southern California community can return to their homes or what's left of them. We'll speak with the mayor of Laguna Niguel about recovery plans after a wildfire burned at least 20 houses to the ground. Also this hour, COVID-19 has killed roughly a million people in the United States. Millions more are left to mourn the losses. We take a closer look at why the death toll has climbed this high and how to navigate the pandemic moving forward. And many of the people who worked behind the scenes in Capitol Hill say they have had enough. Working long hours, working through COVID, and then on top of that, the January 6th insurrection. It just got to a point where I enjoyed my 10 years here, but it was time for me to go. Now, some congressional staffers are getting the chance to unionize. We'll see how the move reflects labor actions across the country. We begin with demonstrations in cities across the United States Saturday in support of abortion rights. In Washington, organizers of the Bands Off Our Bodies rally marched from the Washington Monument to the Supreme Court. Several members of Congress were there, including California Congresswoman Barbara Lee.